All right, I'm gonna do a video here on this uh, TCOP tent. I've been waiting for one of these for a long time. I got it in a trade last week um, with a guy I know who has a bunch of military surplus stuff. He's got a bunch of it, you know, a garage full of it, but he had a couple of these still new in the box that he's had for several years, and I got it in a little wheeling and dealing with him, so, and, uh, so I'm gonna show, just break it out, show you what it is. It's, uh, this is how it comes. It's nice and packed up in this little uh, bag right here. Let's break it open. All right, this is this is what you get in your bag right here. You get the actual tent, the tent fly. There's a little bag here. This is the repair kit. It's got all kinds of goodies in it buckles, pieces of material to um, repair any holes or anything like that. Three tent holes and your stakes. These are uh, Easton, Easton stakes. These are really good stakes. They are aluminum. Um, these are also Easton poles in here too. And you get your little instruction booklet, which is cool. And then your bag, of course. Let's get it set up. All right, there it is set up without the rain fly. It took about a whole five minutes to do it. Um, very easy, just snaps in there. And uh, sorry about the wind, it is quite windy today. But let me, uh, let me take you around and show it. All right, here we go. Has two entrances on both sides. There it is opened up. It's got a bathtub floor. You can see right there, it goes all the way up quite a bit, quite a ways. This does not have any pockets or a gear loft or anything. What is cool about it too though is that is it has the mosquito netting on the outside. So that makes this a four season tent. They really say it's a three season, but I've been seeing people using them for four season tents quite often, so. But it gives you plenty of breath, or um, fresh air to come through, and two entrances and exits, and access to the vestibules when you put the rain fly on. Good heavy duty zippers right here, and they've got long ties on them, and they are easy to zip. What you would high quality, what you would expect from a Eureka tent. Um, let's get the rain fly on, and I'll show that to you. All right, well, there's the whole thing with the rain fly put on it. Take you around here, as you can see. Wind's blowing on it a little bit. I got it tied. I got it staked down, but I don't have it guided out. I'm not going to do that right now, but it does come with extra paracord and things like that to guide it out. So looks like I could pull it down a little tighter here so I don't have that. But just for the sake of this video, I'm not going to worry about it right now. So. And this is a blackout fabric also on the inside. So uh, that way it's dark on the inside. So if you like to sleep during the daytime, if you're up late and sleep during the daytime, you sure, certainly can. Um, there. It is the real Eureka TCOP, which stands for Tent Combat One Person. Now, two people can fit in this very tightly. However, you know, if you're with a friend, you know, two of your buddies, it might not, uh, might make for an uncomfortable situation. But if your wife, your girlfriend goes camping with you, you do the old snuggling, you know, which I'm okay with. That doesn't bother me at all. But it will certainly, 
certainly work for that. But one person very comfortably for sure. Let's go on the inside and take a look around. Got two vestibules, one on each side. Velcro to rain on lift to hold it down. And this is a reversible rain fly as well. You can have it in the desert can if you wanted to, which makes it good for multiple environments. Let's crawl in here. Get my shoes off so you see my feet. But this thing is about eight feet long, so I've got room down there. And I can't hand out of the way. See here. Got plenty of room up here that you can probably lay your pack and other items if you wanted to but uh, I'll show this get my hat off I'm 5'7 so it's a very small tent low profile so my head touches the top but yeah you most definitely could fit two people in here, you know. So yeah, you could fit two people in here. With the vestibule, so you got a covered vestibule right here. You got all this room out here where you can stick your pack and your boots and any other things. Hell, you know, you don't even have to get out of your pack. If you have like a, or out of your tent, you, if you have like a, a little cook set or something, you know, like a sterno thing or whatever, you can uh, jet boil or whatever, you can cook it right there, not even get out of your tent. So, let's go on to the other side here. Take a look. You see, there's the best of you. Both sides covered up, so. So you have plenty of room out there to uh, put a pack and, and items and stuff that'll stay dry. So it's very cool. Let's uh, check out this blackout feature. It's gonna get dark in here. So. There you go, it's pretty dark. You know, so that keeps out any light from entering in or escaping the tent. If you want to have a little lamp in here at night, things like that. So that's for our troops, you know, if they're in here doing stuff, don't want to give away their position or if they're, you know, looking at maps and whatever have you. You can, uh, oh. you know, they can, uh, they can do whatever they need to do without giving away themselves but yeah it's heavy duty I like it you've got little toggles over here that you can uh, roll up your tent flap everything like that so yeah but there it is I mean that's it great shelter and the poles on it I mean it's Good weight. I mean, you can push them. I'm pushing on that. So that can handle a good amount of snow load if you end up using it in heavy snow environments. We don't get that much snow here. Every great once in a while. Every 10 years. <laughs> this is unfortunate because I would love to go camping in the snow. I'm supposed to do some winter camping this year. But I really wanted to do it in the snow. I really wanted to do it in this heavy snow, and I was hoping this year we'd get some. We just didn't. So anyway, there it is, a TCOP tent combat one person from Eureka. And that is the real Eureka. 
You can find these on eBay for around 200 bucks. Still new, get them while you can because they are awesome. And uh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. A long time. So, woodland pattern. Now, I do, I do know that they make, uh, Eureka makes other tents similar to this under a different name. They call it a different, I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, I forget what they're called. But uh, they're, they're not as sturdy as these. The rain fly on those is not a blackout pattern. And even though Eureka makes great tents, they are not as good as the military ones. And I was reading somewhere that the commercial Eureka tents are made in another country, like China or something like that. But these uh, military tents are made in the United States. So, and I love, I love military gear. It just works. They built it, and they build this stuff to work in extreme conditions. They over-engineer it a lot of times, and uh, it just lasts. If you take care of it, it will last you a lifetime. So, there you go. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to get out and use it, and uh, I'm excited about it. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. But anyway, keep it heavy. <laughs>